Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we're on a brand new account with zero pets, but we do have the maximum of 40 pet equips on this account, because every five minutes, I'm going to be getting a random pet for my main account over there, and after 40 pets, we're going to be seeing just how far we can progress within this game. And really quickly, as a friendly reminder, before we hop into the challenge, less than 10% of everyone watching this video right now is subscribed to the channel, and my big goal is trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you wouldn't mind double checking to see if you guys are subscribed it would mean a ton to me but let's get underway with this challenge and well since we have no pets at the moment no multipliers we're getting two strength every single time we curl this dumbbell i think we better start things off right now by spinning this wheel which has 40 different pets on it and whatever it lands on we're gonna transfer from our main account what is it gonna be please do something good oh my you're kidding me you're kidding me the first pet I get is a 1x multiplier dog. Oh, man. So every time we get a pet, we're going to remove it from the wheel. And, well, look at that. Our first pet looking majestic. And I've just started a five-minute countdown timer that when it ends, we can give ourselves another pet. But, yeah, there's not much we could do. We can go ahead and open all of our rust crates. See, oh, 20% bone arm. Not bad at all. Now we're getting 5x. And then I always forget, which is the best thing to actually gain strength? I think it's the bicep. Biceps. If you get the max biceps, I'm pretty sure it's better than the punching bags over there. But I also forgot last time, you only need, I think it's like, what, five wins? And you can get one of the first trails, which is like a plus 100% boost. All right, and with five wins in the bag, we can get the starter, which already doubles our strength, which is so crazy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw on that wheel, but the pets that we have the possibility to get range from, as you can see, pretty bad ones, all the way up to the current best pet in the game, which is a 500 million multiplier fire fizzle dominus. So I very much could have started out this challenge a whole lot differently, but I kind of like that I'm starting out slow because things are going to pick up really fast once we start getting more pets in our inventory. All right, the five minute time is up and 15,000 strength isn't bad but yeah we need 500,000 to beat the final boss so I'll gladly take our second pet right about now let's see what are we gonna get what are we gonna get something good no way oh 200 million pumpkin okay now that is crazy and that is gonna help us breeze through these first few worlds but honestly I'm I I, I kind of think we might have a low-key chance of getting to world seven if i can get good enough pets but then again i also need good arms and good trails and all that stuff so we're definitely gonna make a bunch of progress just don't know how much but but let's see this with one extra pet added we're now getting four oh my bro what your four billion per curl okay so we kind of just smashed that out of the water. With the best dumbbell, we're getting 15 billion every curl, man. That was like the second best pet on the entire wheel, and it just gave it to me. But even though we have a ton of strength, we don't have any winner winner pets, which I did include on the wheel. So we do have a chance at getting up to, I believe it is five winner winner five pets, which would give us a 2x wins boost multiplier. This account obviously has no game passes. I've spent no Robux on it other than the 40 pet equips. So yeah, getting strength isn't really the hard part. It's everything else like super rebirthing and wins. That's going to become a pain later on down in the challenge. But I think I'm ready for it. Oh, it's virtually no time at all later. 15,000 wins moving on to the school. And I believe... We should already have enough strength to beat. I mean, it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Now we can beat the, the highest punching bag. We have a trillion strength. Yeah, I, I think we have enough to beat the rogue, I, rogue AI, which is 36.2 billion strength. But again, it's not beating these bosses. It's how many times we have to beat them. And trust me, I know we have to beat some of these bosses thousands of times to move on to the next world. But fortunately, the rogue AI isn't one of them. Now, I do think it's worth mentioning that no, I will not be allowed to enchant any pets. And of course, I will not be opening any additional eggs. The only pets I can get are from my main account, which again, I get one every single five minutes. So no voiding, no turning anything into golds. But what we are allowed to do is rebirth. And ooh, actually, no, we don't need a new trail. I think this would actually be better. Let's see. Okay, yeah, one trail trillion per punch that seems to still be doing a pretty good job but we need like one point something qa strength to get out of this gym but luckily it's our time to spin the wheel again what are we gonna get no no way oh okay a best friend eight is gonna be really clutch there was a chance that if i had a sucky pet 
Well then, getting a best for an A-Pet wouldn't matter, but because we have a 200 million Ghost Hunt to Pumpkin, this thing is now like three or 400 million stats, which is crazy. So let's equip all, and now we're getting, yeah, we're getting about two or three trillion for punch, just a small little upgrade. All right, and about two minutes later, we were able to get enough strength to beat the final boss in the third gym, but I, I'm not trying to open that lucky block back there. So we need like 122 trillion strength. And, uh, okay, dude, it, is it even worth it? What, what's even the best thing I can get from it? I'm not even sure if lucky blocks are worth grinding anymore. But let's see, Kraken boss. Can we take him down? 1.5 QA versus 2.2. Oh, we're kind of kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, and this is where having a winner winner pet would really come in handy because we're going to have to beat this boss. I think it's like two. Whoa, what? Is, what? What just, what just happened? Did you... What is happening? Oh my gosh, I've never... Dude, oh my gosh. Are we winning? Are we losing? Dude, this is so... I'm not even fighting anymore. I'm in the ground. What just happened? Okay, well, that was extremely weird. We do have a silver key. We can purchase a crate. We can go ahead and get a silver arm. 75% should make us a whole lot stronger. And maybe we won't glitch out and absolutely break this game again. Okay, there's our first win. Is it gonna do it again? That was really weird. Okay, we might be in the clear. I've never seen that before in all of my days of playing this game. Uh, but we should be getting our next pet in around the next 60 seconds or so. And if it's a winner winner pet, I'm gonna be ecstatic because, dude, I don't wanna sit here for the next like 30 minutes just AFKing this guy. While we're catching dubs on the other monitor, it is time to get our next pet. What is it gonna be? No way. No way, please. Yes. Oh my god, you would think this is rigged. You would think this is rigged by the way this is going. A winner, winner, five pet. Let's freaking go. This pet is going to single handedly get us, was it? Yeah, 40% more wins. Oh my goodness. So now instead of beating this guy, I think it's like 200 times. We only have to beat him a little over 100 times. And in a few more minutes, maybe. Just maybe we can get super lucky and get a second winner winner pet bill. I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to get too excited because we still have a long road ahead of us. Ding, ding, ding. It's that time again. We're only up to one trillion wins. So please, winner. <gasps> no, dude, th this, this makes no sense. This wheel has to be listening. It has to, my mic has to be, this is no, this is so weird. Pretty much like everything that I've asked for has actually happened aside from the one X dog we got earlier. But now we have an 80%, we almost have a double permanent wins boost because of this. Now there's still a ton of crappy pets on that wheel that if we manage to get, I will be a very upset camper but hey I, i'm not complaining i thought this was gonna go way worse than it's gone so far so let's keep it rolling well folks you're getting pretty used to it by now another wheel spin another five minutes has gone by and yeah this is uh this is one of the pets i threw in i mean it won't be not helpful a key finder two pet but it's not something that i'm like actively looking for because i think it gives like a two percent better chance at finding keys speaking of which do we have any more crickies oh we have two gold keys let's go and open these up that's gotta be something good oh the buff for rosen let's see let's see let's see 8.5 that's huge oh my gosh it's gonna make things go by so much faster yeah, 2% better chance at finding keys. That's basically nothing. All right, let's go back to find the crack and reset the timer. And I'll see you guys in five minutes. Oh man, we're still only at 3.7 trillion wins. It's been like half an hour here. But no fear because the wheel spin is back. A winner, winner. It comes, it goes. And ooh, 600k ocean shark. So I mean, this doesn't really help us out right now in this moment because we need wins instead of strength. But in a moment, we will need strength. And and this best friend six is going to come in clutch. I kind of forgot it was best friend six. I thought it was like best friend five. Oops. But seven pets equipped. 33 to go. Look at that. We finally have enough wins to say bye bye to the third world, the beach world, and move on to the bunker now this world i think should be a little bit easier but we can definitely see about getting some upgrades beforehand uh, don't get a better arm we can definitely rebirth but i want to get a better trail before we do so i'm thinking probably the 225 billion chunky trail what does it even look like is it even chunky not not necessarily and then we're just gonna drop a bunch of wins on rebirths i really 
really am not in the mood to super rebirth today. But yeah, don't think we're gonna need to because with every curl, we're getting 7 QA strength from this barbell and we only need 150 qa to beat this mutant king final boss so within like a minute of being in this world again we're gonna have the strength we need to actually beat the boss it's more the winds problem we're encountering but i kind of thought that was gonna happen but not so soon in the process we have another wheel spin to take a look at no no there's only three left now there's two left there's like 30 pets, and I got a 10% chance to get the winner, winner five, and we nail it. Oh so yeah, let's get it equipped. Let's get the last little bit of strength we need, and then we can get to work AFKing the Mutant King. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How many wins are we going to get going up against the Mutant King? Was that 500 QA? So okay, only having to beat this guy 100 times. Not bad, not bad at all. But before we get busy with that, we're coming up on wheel spin number nine. Imagine, imagine, winner, winner, no way. There's a chance, there's a chance. There's a chance. This is not real, bro. The odds of that are like 7%. Okay, now, dude, this is, <laughs> this makes no sense. There is literally one winner, winner, five pet. Oh, I didn't mean to spin it. Oops. What is he gonna land on anyway? Okay, that, that doesn't count. Actually, you know what? I'll give myself two pets at once. I didn't mean to do that. But I'll give myself an elephant and the winner winner five. All right, there are those two pets. It is pretty crazy, though, that we have gotten, like, the most ideal possible setup in the world for this. Like, there's literally only one more winner winner pet possible that I can get in this challenge. And that's because we've been super, super lucky so far. And uh, I think within the next two minutes, we'll be on the world five in just under an hour, which is super, super crazy to me. All right, we're only about halfway there to escaping the world. Oh, dude, imagine, bro. <laughs> imagine. There's so many strength pets. Like, these are all just, like, the enchanted pets that we keep getting. But there's, like, a bajillion strength pets left. Oh, look at this, gamers. 50 QI. We can move on to world five. Yo, that was kind of bars. And we could also pick up another pet. I believe our 12th pets was going to be... Dude, this wheel is, like, just staying in this one area. Oh, but we do get to do 15 million candy cane dominus, which is funny because I don't even really have a use for this at the moment. All right, let's see, though. How much strength are we getting? About 8 QA per curl. Let's see what trail we could scoop up a decently better trail. Use the key. Don't get anything. I think we'll rebirth, though, because we're going to go from 750. Yeah, 600 extra percent. 16 QA per curl. Uh, we'll need to be here for like what? I don't know, few minutes, five, ten minutes, and we'll have enough strength to already beat the mammoth. But this guy, we gotta beat him like 1,200 times. It's that's not a joke. Like two, like a thousand, two thousand times. We gotta beat this guy to move on. It's absolutely insanity. So now I wouldn't mind getting one of those best friend pets, but we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, we land ourselves a new best friend eight. Boop, just kidding, best friend seven. That's that's still good. Still like 300 million. Boom, up to 13 pets. And we almost have enough strength to beat the mammoth. And we can try. Oh yeah, we got that in the bag. Okay, there's one win. We just need eh, about a thousand more. So I think all we could do is pretty much sit here, get more strength, and then give another crack at it. We have a few more QI worth of strength. Well, it's been 15 minutes. We got three extra pets, as you saw. The bear, the mouse, and a new best friend, Seven. And we've worked our way up to 9.1 QI strength. So we can comfortably, comfortably beat the mammoth, which is awesome. But we have to beat him again uh, about a thousand times. And so I'm debating, do I come back every five minutes and get a new pet? Or do I just wait until I have all the strength? That might be like two hours. And then just come back and get the 12 pets I would have gotten anyways. Because any pet that I get while I'm AFKing this boss, it won't help me. I mean, there's one pet, there's one win pet, as you guys know, that would help me. And so I think I'm just going to time how long it takes for me to beat the mammoth enough times to get the 500 SX wins I need. And then come back and open up the equivalency of that in spins. Get my pets and keep on grinding. Well, just over, I think it's like 100 minutes, like an hour and a half later. Oh my gosh, 500 SX wins this is by far the most annoying boss in the entire game they've they've done so much in terms of making this game more free to play friendly and then they just forgot to tweak this guy but regardless we can finally escape the dino world and get all of the pets that we are owed because it's been about 100 minutes that's 20 extra pets 
we can add to our inventory, which means we'll only have four left to get up to 36 pets with four to go. And so while I'm doing all of this drawing, uh, might as well as go ahead and just get started training here up in world six. But as you can see, things are going a little slow, but same thing, we have four diamond crates. So pick up four crate keys, open up all of these. What are we gonna get? A nice 560, that's a, wow, we just doubled right there for trails. What can we do here? Maybe a nice little, well, I like I like the 55 SX, seems like it's a pretty good value. Immediately up to 16.2 QI. And I think because we're getting strength so fast, it wouldn't hurt to rebirth, but I, I don't think we're gonna get very far from 13 to 15, 15, 50%. Yeah, this is where we need the super rebirth and I just don't want the super rebirth, but I'm gonna go get all 20 pets that were owed and see which four are left over. And so let's go do this. So these are all of the different 20 pets we got. As you can see, there is a lot of diversity going on. We have some best friend fives, a new best pet. Finally, we still haven't been able to get the 300 or the 500 million uh, fire fizzle dominus, uh, some best friend eights, another best friend six. So all in all, it's gonna help us out tremendously in terms of actually getting more strength because that's really what we need at the moment. I was originally only going to continue this challenge until I got to 40 pets and see how far I progress but I just think most challenges just kind of end in world six because I'd have to spend probably like four or five hours AFKing here. And then if I got to world seven, well then there's absolutely no chance I could even beat a single boss because just how crazy it is. But let's see, equip all, we have 36 pets and we're now getting three QA strength every single curl. So we triple the amount of strength we get. And again, yes, I can super rebirth and I can do all this grinding, but that, that kind of defeats the purpose of this whole challenge in my opinion. So we've got 36 of the 40 pets. We have four more to go. And so in 20 minutes, this challenge will be complete. And it sucks because we could have got the best pet at the very beginning. And honestly, I was feeling, I think we got the, uh, the 200 million ghosts on a pumpkin at the beginning. And I was, I was, you know, hyped about that. But oh man, if we got the fire fizzle dominus, who knows? Maybe we could have actually made it to world seven, but I'll catch you guys in five minutes. Let's see if we can't get a lit. So lucky, nope, 1x Fox, that's that's awesome. I have no use for that at all. But we'll add to the collection and keep on getting some strength. Also, since we have some extra arms, might as well see if we can't get a little lucky getting a golden one. And wow, we didn't, that is incredibly unlucky. Never mind, GG's, we're going back to training. Another five minutes means another wheel spin. Dude, you're kidding me. Uh, it's gonna be the last pet I get. The last pet I get is gonna be the best pet in the entire game. And I get another 1x cat, dude. How does this keep happening? Well, we've made a decent chunk of progress. So for 100 QI, does that even give me the ability to beat any of these bosses over here? Mr. Arithi, 287? Holy crap, it goes from one QI to beat the Mammoth in the last world to 300 in this world. Jeez, man. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna need this Fire Fizzle Dominance if we want any chance of beating any of these bosses before the challenge ends. So, come on, one time for the one time. Give it to me. No, no, no. Out of 40 pets, there's a 2.5% chance that the Fire Fizzle is the last pet we get. And oh my gosh, it happened. We started out things so hot and we're ending them on, I guess, a low note. I don't even know what to consider this. And so abiding by the rules, I'll see you guys in five minutes to claim the best pet in the entire game. But everyone knows what pet I'm getting next, uh, but okay, that's so stupid. What is that wheel spin? The 500 million multiplier best pet in the game, Fire Fizzle Dominus is now coming home and the wheel is completely empty. Oh man, I've been waiting to see this for quite some time. Let's see, we're currently getting three QA every single time we curl our hand strength thing. He's equipped best and we're now up to 5.4 QA, virtually doubling the strength we're gonna get. So honestly, I think I'm down to sit here for the next however long it takes for me to get enough strength to at least beat the Arinthian. I mean, 
The thing is, if I stayed here in AFK, yes, I could get to world seven, but I don't know, it kind of defeats the purpose. We have all 40 pets that we plan on getting, some very bad, some very good, as you know, but we'll sit here for the next probably like 20 or 30 minutes to get enough strength to at least beat the first boss, say we did a little bit of damage in world six, and then see where we go from there. All right, let's go give it a check. 302 QI total strength, Orinthian. You gotta be going down, buddy. There's no way. You don't have the edge on me. Whip it out the auto clicker, aka my fingers. Let's freaking go. I consider this challenge a success. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 50k by the end of the year would be absolutely amazing. And if you have any other challenges you want me to do in Arm Wrestling Simulator, then let me know down below in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.